Today, we're talking about investments that CISOs need to be looking to in 2021. Uh, Bob Blakely is an operating partner at Team 8 here with me today to talk uh, a little bit about uh, a survey that was sent out to uh, clients talking about what they're investing in, what they're looking to uh, security-wise in 2021. And Bob, we're going to get to cloud security in just a minute. But first, talk about two uh, big areas that really stood out here. Um, so I'll start by saying uh, we ran a survey of our community of CIOs, CISOs, and information security professionals. We have about 350 people in what we call the Teammate Village. These are executives from our customer and partner organizations. And we asked them what areas they were prioritizing for investment in 2021. And two of the areas uh, that we had uh, mentioned by a lot of our CISOs were security automation and application security. And I think it's, uh, it's pretty evident why those two areas in particular are, uh, are focus areas for 2021. In the case of security automation, it's well known that there is a big talent shortage in the security market and automation allows you to increase the leverage of the talent that you already have by enabling them to codify their wisdom into automated actions and have those actions applied without having to hire more people to do them manually. In the case of application security, uh, what we're finding is that more and more of not only the security job, but of all jobs is shifting left into the application development phase uh, of the product cycle. And what this means is that developers who by and large are not security experts need to have better tools to help them build security into their applications. And that's the, the basis for investment in that area. All right, and Bob, uh, from that survey, 64% of those who responded said that cloud security is their top priority this year. No surprise with all of the people working at home, uh, it's more important than ever. As you mentioned, 64% uh, of the CISOs in our village survey mentioned cloud security as their top area for investment in 2021. Uh, and I think there, there are sort of two obvious reasons why cloud security uh, is an area of increasing focus. The first is that cloud adoption, partly driven by the pandemic, uh, is accelerating and is happening maybe faster uh, than, than people had planned for. And along with uh, adoption of cloud comes the requirement to secure operations in the cloud. Uh, and the cloud operates quite differently from on-premises infrastructure and applications. So there's, uh, there's a lot of investment that is going to be required uh, to get enterprises up and running uh, on high consequence applications in the cloud, just because it's a different environment. The other reason I think uh, that people are investing in cloud security is because <clears throat> they are uh, increasingly uh, moving operations that normally they would have performed on premises into the cloud, uh, just because the employees increasingly with uh, you know pandemic restrictions are working from home uh, and because upgrading infrastructure and deploying things on premises requires getting a lot of people into the building uh, to do the work. And, and so in some cases, it is quicker to adopt uh, a cloud technology than it is to implement an on-premises technology when you're operating uh, in a distributed mode and a lot of your employees are not on-premises. All right, very good, Bob. You know, and I know you have uh, a lot of conversations with CISOs, and and the ones that I have with CISOs, CTO, CIO, so many of them feeling uh, really uh, overwhelmed, stretched very thin now as this pandemic has raged on. Uh, you know, in the beginning in March, it was a matter of a race to get employees home to get them set up to work remote. And since then, it just seems so many of these IT professionals are really stretched very thin. So I think it's it's definitely the case uh, that security organizations have been stretched in actually for years. I mean, it's it's well known uh, that there's a, a big talent shortage uh, in the sector, uh, and <clears throat> that the problems continue to get you know more serious every year. Uh, certainly, the uh, the pandemic 
uh, has stretched people even thinner, uh, partly because it raised uh, a new set of problems. You put a bunch of people outside of the corporate network, outside of the corporate premises, and that creates a set of security requirements which weren't designed in uh, to the controls in the on-premise infrastructure. Uh, and that's one of the reasons why we are emphasizing in our new uh, cyber brief that we published recently, uh, both smarter security, which is you know the application uh, of not just automation, but uh, artificial intelligence and, and other technologies to the operation of the security program, uh, but also uh, you know shift left uh, and increasing uh, adoption of cloud security technologies to allow the security organizations to make more efficient use of the limited staff resources that they have. Yeah, there's definitely a disparity uh, in, in the supply and demand when it comes to uh, experienced, educated security professionals. So Bob, in closing here, uh, going back to this survey, talk just a little bit about some of the things that really stood out to you, what you really think people need to know. So we recently undertook uh, the <clears throat> preparation of what we call a cyber brief. The idea behind the cyber brief was we wanted to lay out our thesis for what uh, trends and developments were likely to influence the development of information security and cybersecurity for the next three to five years. And uh, so we uh, laid out a, a series of seven themes in the cyber brief. And we're getting uh, you know, quite good engagement and discussions on the themes. Cloud security was obviously uh, one of the themes in the brief. Resilience and recovery was another of the, the themes in the brief. That, and, and we think that's important because while security in general is pretty effective, uh, it's never going to be 100% effective. And so you have to be good at responding uh, to the incidents that, that do occur. And uh, we also focused on smarter security, which we've already touched on in the earlier part of the interview, uh, and on shift left, you know, providing better tools to application developers to create applications that don't have as many vulnerabilities in the first place. So I guess I would summarize the brief by saying, you know, this is our view informed by our conversation with the teammate CISO Village of what is going to drive the security market for the next couple of years and, uh, and really uh, you know, we, we hope people will read it and we hope uh, also that they'll engage us in conversation on it. Much more on the findings from that survey from Team 8 uh, can be found on Tech Republic. Bob, we appreciate you being here with us today. We appreciate you guys watching.